appreciate you. Uh, how are you doing? Very good. So uh, Merry Christmas uh, to you and uh, all of your followers. And thank you very much that uh, I have the opportunity to introduce myself. So a lot of uh, people ask for such an interview a long time. Now uh, I have the, the time um, to, to do it. And uh, I think I will do it uh, more often uh, in the next couple of uh, weeks. Um, so um, my name is Marco Metzler. I'm a German national. Um, I studied uh, business administration in uh, Cologne, Germany. Then I uh, went to London and uh, was in 97. Uh, I, I started um, as an investment banker uh, in, in London uh, with UBS Warbrooks. And I uh, stayed uh, almost 10 years uh, in, in the investment banking business. Um, and uh, M&A transactions in the financial institution sectors, uh, IPOs, and I saw a lot of ups and downs in the market. And um, then in 2006, I, um, when the market went down, I, I started at uh, Fitch Ratings uh, as a director, uh, and I, um, yeah, I, I um, developed the, the, the German-speaking. Um, rating uh, insurance ratings uh, uh, practice from scratch um, publishing a lot of report, uh, reports um, and uh, I predicted uh, at that time uh, um, 2007 2008 I predicted um, a breakdown of some German uh, life insurance companies so um, I have a talent to foresee things uh, which are already there, which can't, are coming and can, can combine them and uh, talk about it. Uh, I, I have no problem to say the truth about things. I, uh, I, I can tell the people how the things are. I have no, no, no problem with that. And so I did uh, with Eva Grande. I, uh, in uh, September uh, this, this year, I, I um, yeah changed my life a little bit. I, I uh, focused on my key strengths, which I had at, at Fitch Ratings. Uh, oh, sure. I, uh, I was, a, before I was a CFO as a, 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 of a life insurance company, managed 1.2 billion euros uh, client man, uh, assets. But I stepped down and then uh, I thought about my life and uh, I found a new mission in my life. And, You're an entrepreneur, uh, right? Yeah, I'm an entrepreneur, uh, yeah. and, and I found, found that I, I, I forgot after my my investment banking career, I, I founded uh, some some um, product rating agencies and, and other things uh, I did, um, and but after after uh, Prisma Life, uh, I I've, I thought about my my life, uh, and I came to the conclusion that um, I have to stand up and say something about this economy and uh, yeah. the world economy and what, what's going on here. Yeah, mm -hmm. because no, nobody, nobody dares to, to say what's going on here and say the truth. And so um, the first thing was Evergrande. Um, and I applaud you for that. I don't mean to cut you yeah. off, sir, but I want to stop you right there just to tell you myself as well as a lot of people around the world uh, i really and applaud you for that because you're bringing to light uh, you, you as somebody who understands who has experience directly in the industry you know w with all of your education and your real world knowledge as a director for fitch and and other you know and now with dmsa and and prisma life excuse me if i got the name wrong and, and that that definitely shows that you understand the risk that occurs in the riskiest things in the world, you know, life insurance, stock markets, hedge funds, etc. So I really appreciate you for coming forward and telling everybody in the world the truth as to what's happening uh, with Evergrande and all of these other Chinese developers or real estate developers and, and all these, these other issues worldwide. So again, thank you again for, for coming forward and speaking, putting yourself and your reputation on the line as a lot of us have to come out and not just shed light on it, but really take steps to make change in that in that sense. And do you think you could explain to us a little bit about the change that you 
yourself, your partners at DMSA and other bondholders worldwide are trying to trying to make happen here with the basically insolvency of Evergrande because they've not paid their bills. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Yes. So uh, Evergrande is the, the first domino stone to fall to bring that uh, rotten economic system down and somebody has to bring it down then but with the mission to build up new things but first to bring it down it's necessary that somebody like dmsa is like us and i'm, I'm not i have a team so uh duke tam is in my team and also michael evie so we are uh, three people at dmsa he also um, you uh duck also helped mr duck Tom, excuse me if I got the name incorrect, yeah. also handles a lot of your social media. Is that correct? That, that, that's correct. Oh, but okay. uh, Thanks. I write it and, and sometimes he, he, he do that, does uh, the posting for me. Wonderful. So I Thank think you. I need that uh, support just to, to publish a lot of uh, messages. Uh, we work together as a team in business, right? Correct. Yeah. Great. Can, please continue about the, the Evergrande situation. Yeah, the Evergrande situation uh, struck me in, uh, in uh, September. And then we, we published a, a, a report uh, on 24th of October uh, um, about um, the uh, consequences of the um, bankruptcy of Evergrande for the world economy. And um, in that report, um, we highlighted uh, that it's a high risk uh, that with, with the bankruptcy of Evergrande it comes to a, really to a meltdown uh, of the global economy, which we have not seen so far. It's even mm -hmm. even worse uh, than in the late uh, 20s uh, in uh, 1929, and, and even, even even worse than that. And um, so um, this is the first uh, domino stone yeah. to fall, and we, or oh, I felt the obligation to make that happen because nobody wanted to do that mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yeah somebody's got to do it right you can't just sit around and expect somebody someone else has, to, do has to do the job uh, and, that's right uh, I, I felt the obligation to do it as part of my mission and we we did it so far um, so we we um, the bond in, in October had not been paid and we, we, we commented on that and we asked some investors to confirm and they they, they could not confirm uh, so we made a decision to to buy ourselves uh, uh, some bonds uh, and uh, this also yeah this worked uh, so far we have not been confirmed by any party that that uh, these bond payments have been made so we we uh, discovered uh, and uh, made public that uh, actually uh, Evergrande was bankrupt earlier and yeah. some 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 uh, related parties didn't want to uh, to yeah to publish that and had an intention to delay it. So um, um, do you do you believe that the Chinese Communist Party, uh, as owning a lot of the Chinese media, was responsible for the news or the delay in news on Evergrande? No, I think. Um, the, the New York Times was the first source to spread uh, these uh, rumors, and wow. then uh, Reuters and Bloomberg took over, and then the, the rumors went into the world, and it, and it happened three times this way. Yeah. So, so the U.S. had an wow. interest to delay uh, the bankruptcy of Evergrande. Absolutely right. Absolutely yeah, right. So, I see. And yeah. would you? Let me ask you. Would you say that's related to? A lot of the current situation going on with Evergrande as a real estate developer, the what is it, the second largest in China? Do you think that this, these bonds that they've distributed to international bondholders and bondholders in China, as well as the unwritten uh, loans that they've received, uh, are what is are, are the major issue here with with the uh, you know the real estate market and the stock market? No, uh, I think uh, the Evergrande is, is uh, the top of the, the iceberg. Uh, is it's uh, it's the problem is uh, started uh, earlier, uh, maybe two years ago, uh, that, that uh, it was not working anymore. 
uh, the, the China has a real was uh, had been grown too fast in, in the last decade, and they they now they are now paying paying the price. Uh, and um, yeah, and unfortunately, it, it they taking down also, uh, or it has impact on on, on other economies. And uh, so it's it's uh, yeah. It, it, it's just it is not 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 the reason for for the breakdown of the economy, but it's it's the first domino stone to fall to to create a chain reaction, and um, we are fully aware uh, that this will 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 happen, and we we want to to make that happen, and we did make that happen. Um, so currently, uh, Evergrande is is uh, on a on a. Restricted, uh, restricted default uh, with S and P and 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 Fitch. So the only thing missing uh, for a full default is a bank, uh, a real an accepted bankruptcy uh, petition. And uh, we started um, on the 22nd of November. I went to the Cayman Islands with Michael, uh, my colleague, and. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, have chosen their uh, lawyers, and um, we, we we started um, working on the bankruptcy petition. And uh, it's it's not so not so easy um, to to achieve. Uh, of course. And um, um, but right now um, we want to finish our job. We we, we uh, when I start a job, I, I want to finish it, and I, I promise I, I I will we will file the petition. Even though it, it would not be necessary anymore because they're already in default status, but uh, I promise I, I, we will finish it very soon. Maybe we uh, have to change uh, to another lawyer because we are not very uh, satisfied with the lawyer we currently have. They do not their job uh, what what we uh, have been paid for, and oh, wow. uh, okay. so that's the reason uh, why uh, we. We have not filed the bankruptcy petition so far, and mm -hmm. of course, we asked some other investors to join um, because um, it costs us around fifty thousand yeah, uh, dollars. That's a lot of money. This, this is lost. Uh, mm -hmm. We do it for good. We do it for 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 all of uh, the investors, and we had a call uh, to all investors to join, but nobody did did did, did to contact us, and right. uh, we also. Did a, did contact a couple of, of investors. It did not receive any any response. So uh, that's that's the reality. Yeah. So, but somebody has has to do the job, and we will do it. Well, that's that's something very admirable, to be honest mm -hmm. with you. So, thank you for that. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think that a lot of these bonds are currently acting as collateral that is accepted by many is the contract members? Yes. So we have posted some some. Uh, um, some uh, some uh, uh, things about that. Uh, it, 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 it had had been used as, as collateral. We also got got information uh, from some whistleblowers. Sometimes we cannot uh, uh, publish our source, and but but then we, we say it. And some people are asking for evidence. Sometimes we, we cannot give evidence, uh, but it, it's happening. It's, it's there. It's, you just can't there. share it with the world, um, yeah. right? So uh, you have to be patient uh, and, and uh, accept that. Uh, and um, so from the Evergrande, the next uh, domino stone to fall and it's already uh, falling are the hedge funds. So uh, and the Citadel hedge fund is, is one of uh, the prominent uh, hedge funds uh, in, in discussions. Uh, and um, so we commented also on, on that situation. And uh, so the next next domino stone uh, uh, is a crisis of a hedge fund. And it's already going on. A lot of hedge funds are, are closing for new business, not accepting withdrawal of money. And we will see more uh, with the increased uh, transparency uh, imposed by the SEC. We, we will see some surprises very very soon and uh, and connected uh, with that uh, is is uh, yeah the AMC uh, GME uh, thing uh, and this is the reason why we we, we did comment on 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 these on these uh, stocks so right. we are we are not 
well, I'm not an expert in that, uh, so. <laughs> but it, it 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 plays it plays a role in in in, in the domino stones to mm -hmm. to to fall, and I and I I have to have to comment on that, e even though I'm not the expert. Yeah. Yes. Why well, are we? I admire you for that, uh, because a lot of people are kind of shy uh, or are scared to comment on something that's happening in the stock market because they're, uh, you know, afraid of being, you know, criticized for it. Uh, so that being said, it's very well known that BlackRock is the number one holder of Evergrande bonds. And I believe they have over $9 billion worth. Is, does that sound about right to you? Yes, it could, could be. And have you seen maybe Evergrande bonds and, and, and shares should be worth almost zero, yeah? Yeah. But they they going even up with bad news. So something weird is going on there. So it could be also there a, a short squeeze <laughs> yeah. happening right now. This is really, really weird. Yeah. There's a lot of financial runs happening in the markets right now, as I like to say, my girlfriend Janet Yellen from the Secretary the Secretary Treasury uh, has been continued to tell us uh, that we're gonna happen with uh, you know banks and meme stocks uh, as it is. Uh, unfortunately, the I believe the mainstream media has really been, you know, kind of trying to diminish people by calling their investments meme stocks, and that's quite sad, to be honest with you. Uh, as a lot of people are, are know already, you know, uh, companies like Pfizer own CNN News, uh, companies like Citadel uh, own uh, Wall Street Journal and News Group Agency, uh, so they are def definitely directly able to make changes and decisions in those companies. Uh, and what is portrayed in the media, unfortunately. Uh, mm. That being said, with the bonds, not only that, I believe BlackRock also has about nine and a half billion dollars worth of Country Garden bonds, whom I believe are also in default. Is that correct? I'm not deeply in, into that, so but I believe so. Uh, I believe so be, but I'll look into it further. Any 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 uh, any uh, real estate developer bonds. In, in China, it will, will will be will be in default soon. So uh, any any any. So wow. and 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 um, so my prediction is also that all of the international bonds, uh, which are about 580 billion dollars uh, of international commercial bonds, will go into default, and uh, China will go back to. Uh, Communist uh, uh, system uh, which had been which we had been practicing for uh, for four years, they, wow. uh, and they 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 just uh, covering uh, their their debt uh, to 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 avoid riots in in the, in the country, and that, that's that's the current situation that that we have to face. You know? So, uh, yeah. but yeah, for for the global economy, this is this is extremely extremely bad. And affecting also the U.S. or, or the, the, the European markets. So mm -hmm. uh, this is this is one 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 thing. But the, the other thing is uh, um, the, the hedge funds in in the U.S. Uh, um, they the, the, the short squeeze they, they are doing is is criminal. a lot of criminal fraud and with greed and and. Uh, so um, we posted uh, even the U.S. Treasury bonds uh, are, 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 are shorted uh, even with, with, with the Fed's own money. So mm -hmm. this is this is insane. Well, right. What's going on here? And uh, this is a, a high risk uh, together with, with the Chinese uh, economy and the fraudulent system here, here in. Uh, on the hedge funds and uh, both things are now coming together and there's a third thing the omicron uh, um, fear uh, and, and spread uh, will slow down the, uh, the economy we have a broken supply chain um, so in the in in high inflation yeah. and um, the fed is uh, is printing money and money and money and kicking the can down the road yeah and yeah. some at some point, it's very, very stop, uh, and it's, 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 it's over, game over. Yeah. yeah, and unfortunately, it seems like a lot of these banks, you know, HSBC, Ashmore, UBS, BlackRock, Royal Bank of Canada, they're all delving into these Evergrande bonds heavily, and they continue to do so even though the company is complete garbage. It's default junk garbage, 
because a lot of these uh, is the players still accepted as 100% notional value collateral, correct? Yes. So this has, this has that... to stop. It, 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 it must uh, stop right now with the uh, restricted default uh, rating, but uh, when we will uh, have the bankruptcy petition in place and it will be accepted by the court, then uh, Evergrande will be D. Yeah. But actually, yeah. uh, the practice of accepting as, uh, as a collateral should, should also now stop with an RRD rating. Yeah, so, uh, Absolutely. It's, it's, it's unbelievable and insane that they're still accepting that collateral right now with RD and SD rating that they've been given by S&P and you know, Fitch. Fitch. Yeah. And people don't realize that the way that these connect through the prime, uh, through banks, prime brokers like BlackRock and HSBC over to uh, hedge funds that are extremely over leveraged as well is through the use of uh, investments in their companies uh, because that BlackRock has the ability to use special purpose vehicles to use Federal Reserve money to buy those and artificially prop up the stock market in Chinese developments currently. So when you have hedge funds also getting money from these prime brokers, the prime brokers are using this collateral, which is garbage for the DTC and other members. Uh, unfortunately, when it does become worthless and they finally come to their senses and decide that we need to you know, pop this uh, balloon that we've been artificially you know, holding together, uh, I really believe that it's gonna cause those hedge funds beneath them that are extremely over leveraged themselves to the tune of 50 to one, 100 to one sometimes, uh, to be you know, margin called. And that's kind of where the connection comes because you've got companies like BlackRock that have 40 million AMC shares as well. And those are lent to companies like Susquehanna, State Street, and Citadel, Wolverine Trading, lots of other hedge funds. Uh, and each single one of them and each layer seems to be over leveraged to the tune of 100 to 140 to 1, 133 to 1 for the tune to, for, for Goldman Sachs, to be exact. So how do you think that the, the all-time high right now mm -hmm. that we have for total derivatives uh, in the world stands over $426 trillion? Okay. That being said, when you combine that with issues like the supply chain, the uh, vaccine mandates that are keeping people from working because they don't want to get a jab, uh, and then other issues like the artificial printing of money by the Federal Reserve in America which has printed, uh, you know, what was it, 40% of all money in the last 18 months. So when you take all those factors and combine them, what do you see happening with the, the, the entire financial system? So uh, the financial meltdown is already there, uh, but it, it's just about happening. It, <clears throat> it can happen every day. Every and day. That Every day now, yeah, because it, we have every factor there to, to make it to make it happen, and it will happen then by by occasion, by by some stupid stupid actions, uh, and it, it will happen very soon. And uh, I did comment that uh, that uh, the Moas uh, will will be there by by Christmas. This was my Christmas wish. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> It's okay to have wishes, right? Because yeah, you have to talk about wishes because uh, they will come true. And uh, so uh, I, I think um, uh, they, they, they will come true uh, after Christmas. Uh, and uh, but we, 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 all the factors are given. And uh, um, I, I studied business administrations and I have a PhD in economics. So. Um, so, it, 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 it will happen. It, it, it will happen very soon uh, because so many uh, factors coming together, uh, it, it's already rare. And um, so be, be patient uh, and uh, don't, don't lose faith. And uh, <laughs> so it, 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 it will happen. Yeah. But uh, when, when, when it, when it happened, but then, okay, you, you, you will be rich. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you will be rich. And then but, what? But be careful, I, uh, I, I, because you have to take action when you will be rich. You have to get out, or when when you make the money, take the gains very soon, and invest it into tangible assets like gold, silver, or, or something else, because 
it's it's not a normal uh, meltdown. It, it will be a, a global economic meltdown, and you can preserve your uh, your wealth, taking your gains and investing into tangible assets. That's my recommendation. Do you believe that the real estate market will also melt right along with it, or right soon after? It, it, it will melt, but it's a tangible asset, so uh, it, 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 it will, will, will stay. Uh, but um, It will take some time to recover. But, uh, yeah. Be, be careful. We, we, have, we have then uh, a breakdown of a lot of banks, uh, and you have to take your money before these banks go in, going bankrupt. <laughs> so do you suggest credit unions or what? You know, like... Navy Federal, you know, like military credit. You, what do you think? What do you think? No, do we, all we, tangible we, or just cash money and tangible and so several take, fiats, take, crypto. Take, 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 take your gains you make out of the MOAS and invest into gold, silver, uh, and something else is available. So you will have difficulties in in getting them physically. Okay, what do you think yeah. about the? What do you think could possibly happen with the stock and crypto markets? after the mother of all short squeezes when this you know imminent collapse occurs so uh, i i think uh, the markets will, will will be down you will not be able to to sell uh, and to buy uh, or the banks will limit uh, uh, your availability or you you uh, you that you can sell or, or, or buy it or uh, yeah, Help us. Some, <laughs> some, some banks are already uh, introducing such uh, terms for private investors. I yeah. was just uh, giving a hint from from a follower uh, that banks doing that. Like hedge, like the way hedge funds are doing it now to prevent yeah. their customers yeah. from pulling their money out. Yes, yes, there's yes. a very high possibility that banks will be doing the same thing, huh? Yeah. Wow. So wow. I, I I personally I personally. Uh, uh, I'm hedged against uh, the crash. Yeah. How are you uh, hedged? If you don't mind my sharing, I, I, I bought I bought puts on on market in stock market indices worldwide, and uh, uh, as soon as the market crashes uh, and before uh, banks uh, go bankrupt, I I will sell these uh, these puts, wow. making gains, and these gains uh, I will use. For the public, I I will. Uh, I love that. As a part of my mission, I I promise that all, all the gains have to be used to rebuild the the new economic system from scratch. First, it has all has all to be has all to be go, go down, gone gone down, and and uh, we we have to rebuild uh, a, a new a system and. Um, also, um, well, God bless you for saying it. Very, very, very likely that the, the, that the dollar will 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 will, will fail uh, as long as the, the U.S. Uh, will be in, in default uh, because um, because um, with the market crash um, they uh, can can they cannot stop stop the, the, the market crashing in, in, in anymore and uh, wow. then the gold is not there. So and the gold is, is the, 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 the Federal Reserve gold. Uh, this is heavy, man. Uh, <laughs> the, the market are manipulated for years. The gold price is, is, is uh, extremely low. Really? And we will wow. discover that, that the gold, uh, when we call it, uh, is not there anymore because the same thing going on with, with the stocks, uh, the fraudulent system uh, is put on onto the gold. Uh, okay. And... Um, so the challenge is to, to build a, a new system and um, we have to go back to a gold standard. So, um, and I'm in talks with other people on that and how, how to rebuild that, but. That's great. Okay, we will do something, but first uh, the market has to crash. Mm -hmm. We are still about to happen. Uh, I think it can happen every day. But it can yeah. also can also be maybe January or February. We will see, but it, it will happen happen soon. It's inevitable. It's absolutely well stated. Thank you, thank you, Doctor Metzler. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. So we we will continue to to say the truth, 
even the main media is not commenting on that. So uh, the next thing is the hedge fund crisis, then the crisis of the Fed, of the dollar, and other things we will discover. Yeah. And do you think the reason that the dollar will collapse will be because the stock market has collapsed and a lot of these banks are going completely bankrupt? Does that mean so, that the Federal Reserve will not have the ability or there will be nobody to buy their junk bonds and mortgage-backed securities and other, you know, bonds that they sell to make money? So um, the financial uh, the problem is, is that we will have a hyperinflation of the dollar and people will, will lose faith in the dollar. And then, uh, as said, um, the next thing we will discover that the gold uh, coverage is is not there or, no. or uh, the gold is not not there anymore and then this this will be the complete uh this will, will be the finish yeah of of the of the system and then we have to establish something something new but uh, yeah. it, it will be a hard time and uh sorry to say but i i, I it's part of my my mission to warn people um Please also store some food for hard times. Yes. Thank you for mentioning it. You know, uh, yeah. they, people do need to understand. I own uh, several logistics and, and distribution companies, and people do need to understand that the supply chain crisis is only getting worse. Mm -hmm. uh, the th things that Biden implemented and their nonsense about supply chain issues getting better is nothing but lies. Uh, previously, we used to have a two to, a two, to two ratio incoming and outgoing from Asia to America. Previously, we used to have two ocean containers coming loaded from China to America or Asia. And then uh, we, have, we would send back two loaded containers. And as of a few months ago, we were doing a three to one exchange where they were sending three full containers. We were sending one, uh, one full container and two empties. Now we're at the point as of November, 2021, we're at the point where Asia and China are sending us four full containers, 20 and 40 foot ocean containers, and they're being uh, dropped off at Long Los Angeles, Long Beach, uh, Seattle, and other places, uh, but particularly these uh, where there are 80, 90 ships waiting to unload at a, at a time. Uh, and we are, we are receiving these four boxes and sending back only one fully loaded container and three empties. The reason being because the import and export between America and Asia has completely changed. And it's at the point where there are so many empties being refused here in America because the, the steamship lines don't make money, uh, don't make a lot of money to return empty containers, that we've got plenty of containers sitting around here that are empty, which is causing further backups in our ports to unload the full containers. So it's a cyclical issue that unfortunately the vaccine mandate that was repealed by federal courts and has been re-implemented by the Biden administration, I believe, uh, thus causing further, further people to be left without a job because they don't want to get a vaccine that has been untested and there are no studies. Uh, how do you suppose that supply chain and inflation uh, will lead to this uh, dollar apparently it's a quick collapse that's coming here but do you have any vision as to how it might come together here shortly or at least a guess just an estimate of course nobody's going to be you know accurate in that kind of so well, the, accurate right the hyperinflation is, is starting when, when when people are thinking that the next day or in the next week uh, our products are much higher or you cannot cannot buy them so we are, we are about about that situation. So uh, and then it, it can can be a, a run and uh, it's a circle. It's a vicious circle of inflation. And we uh, the Fed has no no uh, weapons against it. Uh, it it's in increasing interest rates, but uh, it's not not possible. Uh, uh, the politicians uh, do not allow uh, to to fully defend. Uh, 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 the dollar uh, uh it's not 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 possible so it's 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 the the hyperinflation is is the only exit door uh and and it, it has a lot of 
social consequences all all the pensioners losing losing their, their money all the people yeah. work a long time uh, losing their their savings uh so it is 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 it will be a very hard time for for the society uh all, all over that's Ooh. unfortunate but yeah. life continues so but, yeah, life but life continues so. <laughs> yes it does and uh, but people we, 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 we need to prepare people for such a situation yeah? they are still in a in a nice bubble uh, and it will be pop and it will be over yeah right and it will, will be dramatically over i believe you're right you know um was it lehman and, brothers and but you but you but you are, are uh, uh, you have the knowledge that the, that the market will, will, will crash and with, with, with a short squeeze situation, um, some of stock, stocks uh, will, will go up in, in such a situation. Exactly. Uh, the majority, unique, yeah. the majority will go down, but some yes. will go up, right? You've yes. got to try yes. to hedge yes. yourself. Yes. Properly, yes. Right? It's, it's unique, but uh, be careful about the timing and taking taking your gains and investing it into tangibles. Do you believe that the federal government or the DTC will could possibly step in and not halt. We, I think we all know that the stock market will be halted. But do you think that they could, stock prices could get so out of control that they might try to uh, reason or might try to uh, settle, create a settlement with, with traders? Yeah. If I think anything, any, anything in, in, in such a situation, anything is, is possible. You, you cannot rule, rule that out. Yeah. So, well yeah. stated. Right. That's yeah. a good point. Anything's possible, right? We don't know what's going to happen next. That's, that's but great. what is important now is uh, that uh, even though the first or second domino stone has fallen, we need to see the crash uh, now very soon. And then yeah. uh, when we are in, in the crash, uh, I, will, I will continue to comment on, on things happening uh, and warn people. Please uh, do. Please uh, do, because this is going to be... I will, I will tell the people the truth, how it is. Uh, and... Uh, so yeah, but now now um, I, I expect every day that, that something will will lead to 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 a, to a, to a crash. I appreciate your your insights on this. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Mm -hmm. Metzler. You have been absolutely fantastic. Is there anything that you any parting words or anything you'd like to say uh, to anybody here? No. So. Uh, don't be afraid. Uh, we will make it together. Uh, you will be very rich <laughs> because you, you, you know the things how they are. Uh, so, uh, but uh, there will be a lot of people, uh, uh, yeah, being in a very miserable situation. Yeah. But um, unfortunately, this, this will happen, and um, so. And Dr. I, Metzler, as you said before. You're here to, to help give people an idea of what's happening. Is that, you know, uh, so we're just trying to do everything possible to give the average person a little bit of warning, right? We cannot rescue everybody, but somebody, some, some people who deserve that and, and are knowledgeable and uh, want, want to hear the news, the right news and the truth, they, yeah. they will take action. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Metzler. You know, I really appreciate you. Please keep us updated on the insolvency petition. And thank you for coming out of pocket to get these junk bonds that you know are going to be completely worthless and, and even further for these court costs on these insolvency petition. Uh, because like you said, somebody's got to do it. And unfortunately, no one else is man enough to stand up and go do it. So I appreciate you, as does, as does the world. So we owe you, sir. You know, thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Talk to you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. I'm going to be so goddamn rich. I think it's time to blow this thing. Get everybody in the stuff together. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. fucking rich. I want my fucking money. I want my fucking money. Yo, motherfucker. Holy shit, we're so fucking rich.
fucking money. You're an original, hey, aren't you? Give me the fucking money. Get the goddamn money, bro.